Hi everybody, English Bob here. Just a short video for you today. Great questions uh, been put to me. Why on earth would I bother doing all this on Linux? Why not just use Windows? Okay, so I can only explain what it's all about for me personally. You need and should use what you want to use and what works for you. So here it is in a simple nutshell. The whole point of me building this PC and having an all-in-one AMD Ryzen chip with the graphics inbuilt is to save me an absolute button of cash on having to buy an external graphics card to run and play the games that I want to play. And in that context, that for me is an absolute win-win. Secondly... By using an all-in-one Ryzen chip, it's got a very low power draw, as opposed to a CPU plus an external graphics card. So that means at the end of the day, bottom line, it costs a lot less electricity to run this PC day in, day out. So again, for me, that's a win-win. So, why bother doing this on Linux? Why not just install Windows and run it on Windows? For the simple reason, Windows contains so many fucking background applications and processes that I neither want nor need that it actually saps most of the computer's processing and graphical hardware capabilities. The thing is, if I install Microsoft Windows 11 onto this PC and try and play a game and record a video or play a game and live stream it, it won't do it. It's terrible. The video stutters, um, you know, in certain circumstances it locks up, it's just horrendous. Why is that? <clears throat> that is because there are so many included applications and utilities in a standard install of Microsoft Windows, which is all sucking the life out of your system. PC Linux OS, on the other hand, well, this is a custom ISO that Ali built for me, and it's very, very frugal on resources, which means this computer running PC Linux OS is so capable and easily I can't think of the word it's easily able to both play games record them and live stream them which if I had Windows 11 on here which I've done and I've tried all this in the real world it's a no-no so for me there's too many advantages in 2023 to running PC Linux OS as opposed to Windows or any other operating system. And I think the fact that it is an AMD Ryzen, all Ryzen machine, sits really, really well with Linux. It's very and highly compatible, which is what you're after at the end of the day. So that is the whole point of me doing this project. I'm trying to save an initial large cash outlay on an external hardware graphics card. I'm trying to get the PC to cost as small amount of money as possible in terms of electricity usage so I can run it comfortably on a daily basis and not have to worry about it. And I'm also reaping all the benefits of a Linux desktop operating system as opposed to a Windows one, i.e. I've not got to spend a full day doing a standard install of Windows and then spend another full day um, de-bloating it and following YouTube tutorial videos on how to streamline your Windows operating system. Don't need to do that. 10 minutes, PC Linux OS is installed, configured, rock solid, good to go. Just as a final uh, added benefit to using PC Linux OS, because all my apps and games are flat packs, they all run independently of the operating system, which is huge. That's a huge layer of security, and that's a huge layer of 
I don't give a shit what website I go to. And let's be honest, you don't. we're not talking about doing something specifically dodgy here. So, you know, I can do something like open my Firefox and my Firefox is completely containerized. It cannot affect the operating system. Big deal, EB. So what? Well, I'll tell you why it's a big deal. Because you don't have to go to the dark web or a porn site to start getting major issues on Windows right out the box. You can go to wallpaper websites. You can go to game mod websites. And instantly, strange shit starts happening on your PC. Because your browsers become infected with something. And because your browser is an integral part of the operating system on other operating systems. Now your operating system starts being a dick. All because you wanted to download a wallpaper. Really? So, you know, for me personally, there's too many advantages of using Linux on the desktop to do what I want to do. But at the end of the day, use your own brain do what works for you. Don't just blindly copy other people, including me. You do what works for you. But from trying this for nearly a year now, this is the most cost-effective, um, money-saving, cheap jive-ass way of running a gaming PC on a daily basis for very, very little money. It's also an absolute breeze to maintain, update and keep in good working order. The other thing I love about this OS is it just never slows down, ever. It's as fast on day 1000 as it was on day one. How fantastic is that? So that's just my 10 cents. You want to use Windows? Knock yourself out. Use Windows. You want to use Mac? Use Mac. Use what works for you. I am literally just documenting in 2023 how fucking amazing PC Linux OS is at allowing me on my hardware to do what I want to do so much more efficiently and with so um, less amount of money than running another operating system please give me your thoughts and comments underneath thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up or down i will see you for another wicked english bob video